Hi everyone, I'm Janine Davis of James Davis & Associates. I believe everyone can succeed and be happy with right encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. I'm here today with another episode of Today on the Blog. Today on the Blog, I've got two great articles for you. The first one is all about what to do when things get rough and how you can still take action now and get things done. The second one is all about the miracle morning routine and the idea for today. Let's start with the take action now when things get rough idea. Everybody goes through rough periods in life. And if you want to be happy when things are going rough, it's up to you to take action now to get things done. You cannot allow the trials and tribulations of life to keep you from doing the things you need to do in order to succeed. If you wait for everything to be perfect in your life for success to happen, success will never come. You will never be happy. Instead, take action now. And there are lots of ways you can do that. My favorite thing to do came from the television show Lost. The first episode of that show, there was a big plane crash. They're all on this island somewhere. And there's this doctor and he's talking about his method for dealing with stuff. And in his first spinal surgery, he cut something wrong. And if he didn't fix it right away, the woman he was operating on was going to be paralyzed for life. So what he did was he just panicked. He just let the panic come in and overtake him, but only for five seconds. He just, just panicked. He was upset. He was scared. He was nervous. Everything was bad, but for only five seconds. After the five seconds were up, he sucked it up. He took action now, and he got going. He did the surgery correctly, and he was able to restore that woman's mobility. So when things get rough, take five seconds to vent. And then move. Yes, actually move. Get stuff done. I have used that five-second panic, let everything overtake you method for a lot of things in life, and it works. I dealt with it when I was scared to death before opening my concerning phone. I did it when my twin daughters and I were hit by a driver with a history of drunk driving. It was a hit-and-run driver. We got hit, left for dead in the street. And we had to move on. As the mother, I had to find a way to move on and take care of my kids. I had to use it when I had a child living five hours away from home, calling me on the phone, crying in tears. I had to figure out what to do to help her. Five seconds of panic, then move. I had to do it when I was dealing with my husband, who almost died and was in intensive care in the hospital. Five seconds of panic, then move. And each of those situations was rough. You, starting a company is hard. Seeing your children perhaps dead in the street is hard. Husband in intensive care, hard. All of these things are hard. They're rough. It's no way, no way to sugarcoat it, no doubt about it. But I can't stay sad forever. I can't stay upset forever. I got to let it overcome me, overwhelm me, deal with it. But just for five seconds and then move. Take the deep breath. No matter how rough, how scary things are, that's what I do. When I'm really angry, really upset, five seconds, I'm mad, 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 I'm mad. Now you got to go. It's not easy to take action when things are rough. In fact, it's hard. It's extremely hard. And it's even scary. But none of that matters because no matter how bad things are, no matter how scary it is, you have to get your head out of the sand and move. You have to get moving. There are people who take action now and get things done. Hey, Lene, nice to see you. There are people who take action now and get things done when times are rough, and there are people who don't. You have to find a way to become one of those people when things are hard. You find a way to suck it up and move, and it really is hard, and I'm not making excuses for it. As I said, I've had this happen to me. When I started my business, it was scary. When my daughters and I were hit by that driver who had the history of being a drunk driver, that was scary. When my husband was in the intensive care unit at the hospital, those things were all scary. They were overwhelming, and panic was starting to set in. So what I had to do was use that five-second method from Lost. Well, now, you've probably heard this story a million times, but this first episode of Lost, when they had 
Jack, the doctor, he talked about his spinal surgery, his first one. He cut something wrong, and this woman could be paralyzed for life if he didn't fix it. He panicked. He was overwhelmed. He was just didn't know what to do. So he let the panic overwhelm him, let it take over his life, and he panicked for five seconds. After five seconds, he started to move. And that's what I call my five-second loss method. When I'm dealing with situations where things are rough, I'm panicking, I'm upset, I'm angry. I think about that and I give it five seconds. For five seconds, I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm scared, I'm panicked, I'm overwhelmed, but only for five seconds. And then I move forward. I'm glad we got you to get the house, Lene. And that's another thing, five seconds and then move. You have to make decisions. If you let the panic overwhelm you, you stay there forever. And that's not a good place to be. You have to find a way, even when things are rough, to move on. And if you don't have a method of your own that works, try that five-second loss method and see if it works for you. And remember, that method means you panic. You let the panic come in. You admit you're panicked. You're scared. You're overwhelmed. You're nervous. Everything's falling apart, but only for five seconds. After five seconds, you're going to move on. And you're going to just keep going on and you just suck it up. And if you're dealing with a hard thing, you may have to do that lost five-second things 20 times in a minute. So you're going to panic. And it's going to be five seconds of panic and you're overwhelmed. You just give it five seconds, then you move on. If the panic comes back again, then you just do that method again. Don't let the panic overwhelm you. Find a way to move on. Even if you have to do the same thing over and over and over, do it. Because eventually you will be able to go longer periods without the panic coming in to overwhelm you. The second article on the blog today is all about the miracle mornings. And you know that I have been doing this miracle morning routine for about a week and a half now. And I find that it's a good idea. So and make sure you go to the blog and check it out, www.janinesworld.com. There's also a link in the comments here for this video. But the miracle morning routine is a way to start your morning off in a way that helps you be more productive, happier, and calmer throughout the day. And it starts off, they call the method SAVERS. You know, everything has an acronym to make it easier to remember. And SAVERS means silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, read, and scribe. So silence, some people use it as a time to just literally sit in silence. Other people meditate. I use that as a time to sit and do Bible study. I sit, read my Bible for a little bit, and then I move on. For affirmations, there are affirmations all over the place. If you need some, check out my website. I've got them all about creating confidence. Matter of fact, for creating confidence, go to my Instagram, Janine Davis on Instagram, because there's always a confidence tip of the day. You go through those, and those can be your starter affirmations to help you start your day. Maya Angelou quotes are great affirmations. So find something that works for you and use those affirmations. Visualization, you're sitting back and you're visualizing what you want for the day, what success is for you, what is a good day, what do you want to happen today, you picture it in your mind. Your mind is a powerful tool, and if you can imagine it, you can make it happen. Jesse Jackson had this thing, if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, I can achieve it. That's the idea of visualizations. Visualize it, think about it, believe it, and then start doing the work to make it happen. Exercise. There's all kind, everybody knows what exercise is. For my exercise routine, I walk my husband to the train every morning and I take pictures along the way and those pictures give me ideas that become something I'll talk about in a second. The next thing to do with the Miracle Morning is read. Read whatever you want. Some people use it for professional development. Some people use it for reading for pleasure. I read things for professional development, things that are good for me to read, that I don't necessarily want to read for joy, but they're things that I need to read, so I use that time to read. Scribe the final step, a vision board, yes! I'm gonna talk about Lene's idea for a vision board in a second. Scribe is writing, and when I do my scribing, it's my Miracle Morning morning routine thoughts that with the picture brings to my mind, I turn those into blog posts and I share them with you. Lene brought up an idea of visualization visual and doing a vision board. Vision boards are such wonderful and powerful things. When I first heard of them, I thought that they were just stupid. 
I did. I did. It didn't make any sense to me. And that was because I didn't know what I was talking about. Vision boards are actually powerful tools because you're, it's a vision. It's thinking about what you want to do, what you want to be, and you make a visual representation of it. Then you take the steps to go from that board being what you want to that board being what is. So your vision board is actually like a roadmap. I actually created a vision board that I saved to my cell phone and I save as the screen saver, the wallpaper on my laptop. I'm going to share that with you when this video is done so that you can all see what my vision board looks like. In the old days, and some people today still do vision boards with magazines, cutting pictures out of magazines. For my vision board, I used Canva and put some pictures together. But getting back to the miracle morning routine, so today, I was walking along and I looked and as I'm walking across the looking across the street I see green lights one two three four green lights as far as I can see they're just green lights all down Lancaster Avenue and it made me think wow there's a lot of green lights you can just go there's nothing to stop you and that gave me the idea for today's miracle morning thought are you the thing that's causing you to stop are you the thing that's holding you back because as far as you can see check out of the blog and check out the picture, janinesworld.com, check out the picture. And it's a picture where as far as you can see, there are green lights. There's no traffic, there's nothing in the way, there's nothing to keep you from walking, from moving, from going. And inertia alone, inertia will push you forward once you're moving. And so I just wonder, are you the thing that's holding you back? Because often the thing that holds us back is not things that are in the world around us, but the thing that holds us back is what is inside of us. And it's something about us that holds us back, that keeps us from moving forward. And that's important to me because when I realized that, when I thought about that, I thought, well, if it's nothing outside this can stop me, I'm not going to be the thing that stops me from succeeding. I'm not going to be the thing that stops me from doing what I want to do for life. So when you're going through life, stop looking for the red lights, okay? Stop looking for reasons why you can't succeed. Instead, look for all the reasons in front of you that you can succeed. So this morning in the picture, when you look at it, you can see there's green lights, there's no traffic, there are no pedestrians. You can just go down that street as far as you want. There's nothing to stop you. Don't think about, well, I could get a flat tire, or a kid could run out in the middle of the street, or who knows what the heck can happen. Don't think about that. Instead of looking for reasons why you can't succeed, look for reasons why you can succeed. When you visualize that, it's powerful. When you visualize, there's nothing out there that can stop me. I can just go and go and go. It is a powerful thing. And it helps you realize you can do it. You can succeed. You can be what you want to be. So in your mind, imagine what it's going to be like if all your dreams came true. I mean, seriously, sit back for a moment. What is your biggest boldest because you know I always talk about that big bold and audacious so think about what would happen if your biggest boldest and most audacious dream came true what would life be like it would be good really really good so whenever negative thoughts come to mind kick them out just shut it down if you have to another movie that I saw it was called love of the game Kevin Costner was a baseball player about to retire whenever the crowd noise was overwhelming to him he just had this phrase he said clear the mechanism and when he said that that was a clue to his mind to just shut out all the noise around him so he just shut it all out and he could hear nothing develop a phrase like that in your life so that when you're you're on your way to success you're moving along things are going good and when those negative thoughts come to mind and those things that make you say I'm not gonna succeed I can't win when those thoughts start coming to your mind and they come to mind for all of us from time to time when that happens don't listen kick him out of your mind close your eyes shake your head imagine smushing those ideas whatever you have to do do it so that you push the negative ideas out of your mind do not let them own space in your head it's your mind it's your thoughts yes miss dr Lene, you go for that doctorate degree and don't let anything else keep it away from you don't say to yourself well i tried this school and it didn't work i tried that school and it didn't work my job schedule now these are just things i'm making up <laughs> Lene did not say any of this so Lene, please don't wring my neck when you see me i'm just saying she gave an example of a doctorate degree 
which is a great thing. That's such a big, major accomplishment. And when things come to your mind that make you think, I can't do it, it's too hard, it's too expensive, it's too time consuming, screw all of that crap. Think about what you want to do and don't take your mind off it. Think about winning it. Think about how you're going to look walking across the stage. Whatever it is in your mind that you want to do, visualize that. And when negative thoughts or negative people come to mind, Close your eyes, shake your head, push those thoughts out, and bring back to mind that success, you succeeding in that role. And that's where that vision board idea may be a good help because that vision board shows you with that success. For Lene, it's that doctor degree, so she'll be Dr. Lene, as my kids call her. For me, it's having a successful business that supports my entire family and lets my husband sit back and be a house husband. I don't think he would, but I would like to have the opportunity to offer him that. And so whatever it is in your life that you want to do that you think of as successful, that's what you put into your mind. That's what you visualize. And when negative thoughts come along, shut them out. Pull up your phone. Literally pick your phone up. Look at it with your vision board on it. Even if you do a magazine copy and paste one, you copy it, paste it, and you take a picture of it, keep it on your phone, keep it on your laptop, keep a piece of paper in your pocket. Do something so that when the negative thoughts come in, you can knock them out of your head, visualize you succeeding, and you will win. That's what the miracle morning thought was for me today. Don't let yourself be the thing that's holding you back. You can knock out all of those thoughts from the negative people and don't let anything hold you back from what you want to do. And most importantly, don't you be the thing that's holding you back. Now that's it for today on the blog. You're going to check out the article on taking action now, even when things are rough, because it gets rough for all of us sometimes. That five second method, if it doesn't work for you, Share in the comments what does work for you. you can all, we can all use something to help us get through the rough parts in our lives. For the Miracle Morning article, check it out. It's all about you doing what you need to do to succeed and you not being the thing that holds you back from success. Okay? So go check them all out. In a few minutes, go on IGTV, Instagram, check me out with the confidence tip for the day. You know, I love doing those, and I love sharing those ideas with you. So please feel free to share your ideas with me so that we can share together, okay? I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Today on the Block. Bye, everybody.